This is Bacchanal Space Center in Kazakhstan. American millionaire Dennis Tito and two Russian cosmonauts are shown here arriving at the Space Center. Tito, dubbed the first space tourist, and cosmonauts Talgad Musabayev and Yuri Baturin blasted off to the International Space Station in April 2001. The three men arrived at the Bacchanal Space Center as final preparations got underway ahead of the launch. Tito, 60, a wealthy space buff, is believed to have paid Russia about $20 million for the trip. NASA had expressed safety concerns about Tito's flight, saying the Californian was not adequately trained and might prove a distraction to the crew. But a deal was reached, allowing Tito to fly into the International Space Station. The deal would essentially mean neither Tito nor his family would sue NASA if anything went wrong, and it would also require he paid for anything he broke, according to sources close to the negotiations. Tito had originally planned to travel to Russia's Mir space station, but the government was forced to dump the first Russian space station due to lack of funds. Not wanting to lose the $20 million that Tito was paying, Russian space officials offered him a spot on a 10-day cargo run to the International Space Station. Although the flight went very smoothly, reception at the ISS was a little cooler than usual, in part because NASA don't support the idea of space tourism. In addition to Tito, Mark Shuttleworth from South Africa has also been up in space as a tourist. The Soyuz TM rocket used to transport the crew into space was rolled out of the hangar in the early hours two days before it was to blast off from Bacchanal Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The rocket was to take South African Shuttleworth, Russia's Yuri Gudzenko and Italy's Robert Vittore to the International Space Station. Mark Shuttleworth became the world's second space tourist to blast off from the Bacchanal Cosmodrome following Tito, who flew to the ISS in May 2001. The internet multimillionaire had also reportedly paid close to 20 million US dollars for a ticket into space. Shuttleworth was not just a tourist, he also carried out a scientific program. And according to the head of the Bacchanal Space Center, if a man is willing to pay so much money that will support the space program, why not take him? Shuttleworth spent eight days at the space station alongside Russia's Yuri Gudzenko and Italy's Roberto Vittore. Vittore, who was selected for the flight to the ISS by the European Space Agency, became the first Italian to fly into space aboard 
a Russian rocket. Bakunau Space Center, once the hub of Russian space endeavors, has changed over the last few years from a very secret military-run establishment to an almost completely civilian-run facility. The military side of the operations is less than 10%. However, appearances aside, Bacchanal is the busiest spaceport in the world. After the Columbia disaster, they provided the only support rockets for the International Space Station.